Hey guys, I hope all's well with everyone. Um, so just so you know, I do have a membership finally set up correctly. <laughs> um, first off, thank you, Barbara. She is our or Barbie doll. Sorry, I don't remember the name, but not the username completely. But anyways, um, she is the first member. <clears throat> so thank you very much for that. Um, I did just post up water sign readings for. Um, the month of August. I have a bunch of other stuff on there too. I do have it up on the community post. Check it out. Um, and my name is Ray, if you didn't know already. Um, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you're returning. If you find yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. It does help with the algorithm. Thank you to all who have already done so. <clears throat> and thank you to everybody who has helped support the channel. Thank you so much. I thoroughly enjoy doing this. This is like my little runaway. I really enjoy doing it. Being a stay-at-home mom, it makes me feel like I'm working. I mean, technically, it is work. But I feel extremely useful, and I kind of feel like a super mom, you know? So anyways, per usual, I will have timestamps down below for you. First, we're going to check in to her current energy. Could you tell us Camilla Cabello's current energy, please? Camilla Cabello's current energy. Okay, interesting. We're immediately starting off with a third party fire sign here. That definitely provides something that is valuable. I'm going to grab another deck and look into this a little bit further. I'm trying to, I have so many decks I'm trying to bait. Maybe like this one here. I've been wanting to be seen lately. I haven't used this deck in a while here. Beautiful, beautiful deck. I love the artwork. Very nostalgic. Could you tell us a little bit more of what's going on here? Could you tell us a little bit more of what's going on here for Camilla Cabello's current energy, please? For some reason, I suddenly cannot talk. All right. Definitely dealing with a burden. She is, does not seem like she's doing too well with this third party energy here. It's putting some form of a damper on her, what is in her eyes and her heart. It's supposed to be successful and it's a wish fulfillment. It's something that's just making her feel wonderful, right? But this third party is it's like fogging up her brain here she's not able to make solid grounded decisions because it's this kind of distracting her really but it's unknown right now it's something that's not known It's supposed to be something valuable. Hmm. 
Mother Earth energy here. I'm not sure if this has to do with her career journey or not yet. Interesting. We're back at this tower card here. So it looks like this third party was initially supposed to provide something valuable. But as usual, if something seems too good to be true, it is. And in this case, it really hits hard with the Tower card, the Four of Cups, really feeling apathetic about how things have turned out, how things are crumbling. It's almost like not really able to have control. We do have feminine energy fire sign here as well. It could be showing up as trying to be graceful. However, this person is also next to the Six of Pentacles. So it's as though it's supposed to be a helping hand that's supposed to help transition the, her Wheel of Fortune. Could you give us more depth on what's laid out here, please? Could you give us more depth on what's laid out here for Camilla Cabello's current energy, please? Finally. <laughs> it's some form of contract that she had. It was supposed to be happy. It was supposed to be transformative in her Wheel of Fortune. It was supposed to make her really happy, fulfill her wishes. She was putting a lot of effort into it, a lot of work. Some form of secret found this, that she is stuck to with this fire sign and is destructive. The battle. She was supposed to, she's seeing herself as defeating things, but something turns things around here. Can you give us more depth, please? It's some large project that she's dealing with here. The Knight of Pentacles came flying out, which is on the floor. Trying to... Not a gecko. It's <laughs> trying to snatch it with my tootsie. Why do we have the four cups here?
something that definitely creates fear, anxiety, sleepless nights on how she feels about her, wow, her wheel of fortune and something that's happened in the past. Definitely attached to her legacy. some form of secret information that she's really stuck with. Didn't even get to ask. It's something new she started. Now we have masculine energy. Water sign here. Definitely something new that she started with. It was moving her towards what she thought was going to be a really big reward through this third party. But it wound up being turned on to her. It's like a situation where it was too good to be true and she gets kind of basically screwed over. I feel like that's kind of repeating in a fair amount with celebrities lately, at least this year. We do have a few more questions, so we will look further into it. I'm sure we'll get more of an answer in what is currently going on here. And then, of course, most likely an outcome. Alrighty, so we're going to move on into her current love life. I would really like to... I think I've only ever used this deck once. The erotic deck. There is a little bit of nudity in it. More or less just breast. Um, but anyways, we are going to ask about her current love life. I do hope that nobody is offended by the artwork of this deck. If you are, I do understand. And please let me know. The current love life of Camilla Cabello, please. Current love life for Camilla Cabello, please. Current love life for Camilla Cabello, please. I'm sorry, but that's a little too much to start off with. That's definitely more than five cards. <laughs> Current love life for Camilla Cabello, please. Okay. We are starting off with that Leo energy. 
strengths and courage. She's definitely dealing with some sort of sadness here, it's describing. I can't stop thinking, feeling as I was stabbed in the back with where she had sensed and felt happiness at some point. Camilla Cabello's current love life, please. Okay. So here we have our Ace of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry. Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups here. So she's really communicating with somebody here about what she wants to do, what she wants to start, what she wants to create, what she wants to put her energy and effort into. It's almost like daydreaming out loud, really. Because of having a damper put on her love life. So she's really kind of like daydreaming in a sense here. But it, it looks like it's tricky. Because we have the Seven of Swords at the bottom here with the Nine of Pentacles. So it's it's almost like she has hope. But also starting to lose hope. We have the Magician here. It just came flying out. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. So with her doing this, she's really starting to manifest a helping hand that's going to move her forward, communicate closer. Oh, yeah. It's almost like somebody's going to play matchmaker and hook her up with somebody. It's like they're going to listen to what she has to say. About her thoughts and feelings about her love life. And then I can just really see the other person being like, hey, actually, I know this person. And they're kind of going through the same thing, too. Maybe you might have a little bit of a connection. You want to give it a try. Could you tell us more about Camilla Cabello's current love life, please? Wow. Okay. It looks like she's going to be moving on to somebody who is masculine energy water sign here. It's going to really be a new opportunity for her. With this Ace of Pentacles. Bring a lot of happiness. Definitely going to provide, yeah, a wish fulfillment on something that she feels as though, like she's slowly starting to lose hope in. This masculine energy water sign here is going to provide so much happiness for her that it's going to revive her thoughts about her potential love life. So we're going to start off with the same deck while looking into the future love life. Could you tell us the future love life for Camilla Cabello, please?
Future Love Life for Camilla Cabello, please. So we're starting off with the Ace of Wands, or Eight of Wands, excuse me. Justice card, Hermit, and the Hanged Man. So she's going to, in the future, the love life, have justified actions, plenty of them. And again, it's like it's going to change her thoughts around. It's almost as though she's slightly rushing into this, the Eight of Wands and the Justice energy. There's definitely going to be a masculine energy water sign is coming in here for her. It's going to be a whole new chapter in her life. She's going to have an Empress energy again. For this one, I will ask for an outcome. She's going to feel, again, <laughs> it's like she's going to feel revived. She's going to feel whole again, happy. It's like it's going to make her feel healed. Let's use the afterthought tarot here for the outcome. Could you give us the outcome on what's laid out here, please? For Camilla Cabello's future love life. The outcome, please, for Camilla Cabello and her future love life. Okay, could you give us the outcome of what's laid out here for Camilla Cabello's future love life? They're literally going everywhere all night tonight. Somebody's going to be, and somebody looks as though it could be somebody that's a fire sign. It's going to help her take control of the situation on how she feels. This fire sign is going to investigate further into what Camilla doesn't seem happy about her love life, what she's had to let go, what she's had to deal with with the spilled cups. But this person is... Like investigating into this information, she's, she's thoroughly listening and bringing in a third party. Now, this water sign could possibly be on the cusp. We now have the King of Swords, which is an air sign, showing up as a third party.
This could also be somebody that she is venting about, but I really wouldn't doubt if this King of Swords is on the cusp. But let's see. I'm going to clarify this King of Swords out. What can you tell me about this King of Swords for Camilla Cabello's outcome on her future love life? Wow. It's like manifesting a new chapter. This King of Swords, can you t what can you tell us about this King of Swords? Helping her see things from another perspective. It's as though learning patience with this, realizing about having patience, the reward of having patience, how patience is a virtue. Can you clarify this King of Swords for Camilla Cabello's outcome for her future love life, please? Her talking about it is just going to be, it's literally repeating itself. This, who's been showing up as a king of cups throughout the night for Camilla's reading, is now showing up, at least for the love part, is now showing up as an air sign. So it makes me wonder if this person is either A, on the cusp with Gemini or Aquarius um, or Libra, um, or if they have an air sign in their rising or moon, maybe even a house placement. Um, I don't normally always a possibility but I don't always get into that that type of depth though with astrology with tarot my astrology will only go so far with tarot readings so far as to my knowledge um the sun moon rising and also cusp typically the cusps so show up side by side so I'm wondering if this masculine energy is able to flexibly place themselves into another spot like the moon sign or rising sign. Interesting. Pisces did have a really good outcome. I mean, it was so good for the month of August that it was only a five-minute reading. <laughs> uh, Cancer and Scorpio, they have a bit of a journey this month. <laughs> um, if you're interested in it, um, go check it out on the membership. It's only $0.99. Cents. Um, I currently have, I think, if I remember correctly, three videos up. Um, one is the first Dark Hollywood reading, which is on Mel Gibson and Exposing Hollywood. And um, then Fire Sign readings for August. And what's finishing uploading, I think it just did finish, is the Water Signs readings for August. Um, I'm trying to think. I do plan, I'm losing time right now. I do plan on focusing on this weekend the K-pop ones. Thank you for reminding me. A reminder is always welcome. Always, always, always. And thank you. So thank you so, so much for the reminder. Again, another shout out to um, Barb 
thank you so much for becoming the first member um for the membership i do plan on making more tiers in the future i want to find a good time where i'm able i know i'm able to commit to i want to do some live stuff on there um i probably feel a little bit more secure about it i do have a post with some pictures on there from um graveyard hangouts that i, I did the other night i've always wanted to do it take, take, just take pictures in the graveyard at night um <laughs> my dear great niece anyways um i might be able to do that again and if so i hope so and i might be able to do a video i'm not sure how that will go it would have to be raw footage because i currently do not have any editor um so um i'm working on that which takes time got bills house to take care of children to take care of and family comes first as well as roof over our head and heat electric etc so anyways <laughs> I'm not trying, Julia. You guys know. You guys are human too. Or are you? <laughs> I'm joking. Because of all the AI and alien stuff. I'm sorry. I'm being pretty facetious tonight. Okay. It's 8-11. We're going through that portal. <laughs> Happy 8, August 11th. <laughs> As my brain goes crazy. Anyways. I love you guys. Thank you for listening to my rant if you've listened this far anyways i'm super stoked about the whole membership thing i do have to learn about how i'm going to approach making the emojis and vouchers i have an idea on what i gotta do but i gotta look a little further into it also side note um i am thinking is coming in really strong and it, it, that tells me it's really good to do so and i've already started typing it up just so i have it in story form um which it would be a true story um my like spooky story times about the bizarre stuff that i dealt with in my childhood home when i was a child um and not only a child but up until i was i think things finally stopped happening by the time i was 22 or 23 then that's when everything finally stopped that last time was something out in wisconsin the first time i lived out there i mean i had episodes then but anyways I'll go further into that later and it's about sleep paralysis and stuff that's my first one so anyways until next time you guys I'll see you today bye bye